<laughs> Hello guys, uh, I'm Elias, I'm one of the tutors here, and today we are going to have a session on summarization uh, using Google Sheets. Okay, uh, can you hear me clearly? Give me some reaction if you are. are up. Okay, thank you. So let's begin, and in the meantime, the others can join the meeting. So let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Can you see it? Give me some reaction if you... Okay. <clears throat> Let's begin. <clears throat> I'm not able to see you if you're writing on the chatbot or if you raise your hand. So it's better if you open up your mic and speak if you have any question in the middle of uh, my presentation. <clears throat> so today we're going to see summarization using Google Sheets. Uh, we use uh, we uh, it's small presentation and we and we were going to see some demo how can we summarize a data set summarization and visualization of data are required or we need this summarization or visualization for, to have a better insight and that can be used for decision making to make informed decision about the matters based on the data we have and effective data summarization and visualization can help us understand the complex data set and infer further decision on that. So, uh, summary sheets contains aggregate data for quick analysis. We can aggregate uh, a period of data or large amount of data into one cell for better insight on the data. For example, we can use functions like sum of average and count. And we can, we can also utilize uh, other tools. As you know earlier, you use some tables and summarization uh, charts for your data. And we can use all this uh, to help us uh, summarize the data. You, uh, there are a lot of functions on Google Sheet and you can see a full list here with this link, with the, with this description uh, on what it's doing. Yeah. And furthermore, after we summarize, we can represent our data using graphs and charts. Uh, this visual representation of the data uh, can better communicate with others and uh, it will be appealing to present with that and can add a better perspective for them on the summary we have made. Uh, we can utilize bar charts, line charts, pie charts, or any other charts or tools on GC, uh, Google Sheets for our data. And we can compare different uh, sets there. And we can use um, trend lines, sparkling line, and for trend analysis. Uh, for example, to see the sales performance, we can use different graphs. To see the performance, it might be a monthly performance, quarterly, or any other period. Is there a question? Is there is anyone has a question? Testify. Can you, if you have a question, you can raise it here. If not, please unmute yourself. Okay, you can continue. Okay. Mm. Okay, let me continue my presentation. So we can see a sales performance of a given data over some time. It might be a weekly, monthly, or a quarterly, and even a yearly performance by aggregating the data set. Uh, for key metrics, uh, for example, that uh, the for these projects, it might be total expense, total income, profit loss, profit margin. We can use these metrics. 
generally there are a lot of types of summarization we picked some here mainly quarterly summaries it pro provides breakdown of income or expense or profit of each it might be for a month quarter or a quarterly mm -hmm. summary qualitative yearly summary summarize the total income uh, expense and net profit for entire year and give it might give comprehensive uh, overview and comparative analysis it compare income with expense and uh, it, it can be further used for profit or loss calculation this data i think this is the presentation that we uh, prepared uh, if you have question here we you can raise it here uh, if not we can go and see some summarization in action do you have any question here there are only a few people here, but uh, if you have a question, you can raise it here. Or should I proceed to some demonstration on GCIT? Okay. okay. Um, hello? Hello, blessing. Um, I'd like to know, before we go to summarizing, um, how do you identify calculation errors? Um, I know in our task, one of the first things we're supposed to do before we even begin is to identify errors. And is there like a shorter way of analyzing the sheets and identifying errors? Or do you have to go cell by cell to check? Mm. Uh, I can make some uh, the decision uh, suggestions on this, but the main objective of that specific task is uh, to for you for you to go deep on the analysis uh, of this aggregate. Uh, it might be a sum or a average, and we place some wrong uh, cells there for you to inspect. For example, you might add. Uh, a formula um, on a cell below and compare uh, and uh, automatically drag uh, the formula throughout the row or a column and you might compare that but you can use any other uh, tool that you believe it will be effective to tackle this task but further ready are you there if you have any comment on this Or Ikram. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what I can su suggest is. Okay. Um, oh, Rudolf is here. So you can. Uh, yeah. Do you have uh, any suggestion on this specific task? Uh, I just wanted to uh, confirm that what you have said is all right. So uh, we we look at each. Uh, cells and see if, uh, uh, for instance, we have January, February, we have different months, and we check if the formula in the in the uh, the series of the months are the same. If they are the same, yeah, it means that uh, is like we we have uh, dragged the formula up to the end from the start to the end. And if it's not the formula are not correct, then we can correct them. So it's basically what you have said earlier. Okay, thank you, Rodolf. Uh, you can you can use any approach that you think will be efficient, but the objective of that specific task is for you to go and see how you can summarize using formulas and other tools. And if you use formulas and throughout the rows for example you can easily uh, compare the cells and find out which one is the wrong one but this is my uh, this just come up to me now but you can use any thing that you think will be effective on this task is this clear Bless. Um, just a little. It's because I'm not familiar with formulas, so I wouldn't be able would to know if a formula formulas, is formulas are very easy. Uh, I share to you a link to where you can get uh, plenty of formulas that can be used 
in your uh, summarization, but uh, the simple ones, I can, I, I'm going to show you uh, how, how you can use these formulas uh, on your summarization. But for your comparison, you can use any approach that you think will be effective on this. So <clears throat> let me go to our can you see? Yes. You can see it, right? This yes. is the data given to you, right? So the <clears throat> uh, the plan is this this helps a lot of salt cells. These cells are, uh, as you can see, they, have, they are made with some formulas and to that specific task is to identify the one that's not correct in this. But generally, how can you uh, summarize some data? I created another sheet here called summarization, for example, uh, for total expense, for example, we can, total expense means, what is the total expense throughout that period, right? So it's obviously submission. We're, we're going to sum, in, uh, sum uh, or add the data for a given period. For example, if you are going to use for 2000, uh, 2025, we can just uh, add this, uh, monthly income uh, or total expense, we can just add the total expense here. This is the total expense. These are the total monthly expense for to find the yearly ones, the yearly total expense. We can just add this all. You can easily do that. For example, let me add just total, since the name is here. I don't need it here. So we can just equals to sum. Uh, when you click the function, it will come the, a field to take some values that you are going to add. So I'm going to go to that sheet and select. These are the cells, right? The total expense, monthly expense. From this to up to December, as easy as this, you can enter it. So you see the total expense of that uh, 2025 uh, will come here. You don't have to go uh, for the same for uh, total income. You will go to the income section and for monthly this. For example, this one is calculated using these three cells, right? You can check for yourself, but this one is calculated using the expense, uh, I think, for this. So, uh, for the total income, for example, we can do the same, like sum. And when the value, the field for to take a value can, we can go to the, the sheets, and these are the Incomes, right? These are, I think, January income. These are the incomes. So we can add this whole monthly incomes and come up with this total income. For profits, who can suggest what a profit is? Can any one of you suggest a profit is just uh, the <clears throat> Uh, a total expense minus. Yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, Addison, me. Sorry if I'm not saying your name correct. You can go ahead. If you have any question or. No question, you can go ahead. Okay, okay. So for the. For the Profit or loss, we can uh, we can use a minus function minus uh, a profit is what is the total income minus the total expense, right? 
minus when the field comes total income and this oh this has to be separated with comma so e5 comma this if you do this you can you can come you can easily come up with the profit or loss for the specific uh, part is this clear so far can show some reaction or if you have any question if you are not getting what i'm doing i'm showing actually very easy things but if you have any question you can write it Okay. Let me proceed. For example, the same we can do for, for example, if you want to know the monthly profits, it's just uh, for January and up to December, we can just add uh, here, I bring it. Uh, for <coughs> For for example, for this uh, pro for January, we can uh, minus. Uh, we can go and for the January income is four thousand six hundred, and the total expenses. This one, right? So, if you can make this li like this. They will bring the total expense, uh, the net, pro the profit for that specific month. Then you can just drag this one to up to the December one, and you can get the. You can use the same formula, uh, respectively, for each month, and you can use this uh, data. For example, I think we can. Present. Uh, we can insert some chart, for example, a, a simple bar chart. For example, we can insert a simple bar chart to show a profit, a trend in profits for monthly uh, profit. It's a loss, uh, but you can represent like this, or you can use any other uh, line charts to that you think will represent your data. You can use that like this visually. And you can insert title for your chart. I'm sure you're familiar familiar with this all. Uh, monthly profits. Oh. Monthly profits. You can add this title, and you can make the alignment to to center. You can play around with this and you can set this, you can change this customization tool and have different uh, graphs. So here is for the profit one. And uh, <clears throat> for example, uh, here I, I created a simple quarterly report. For example, for these expenses, if you go to 2025 and there are around six or seven expenses. So if you want to make a quarterly report, for example, you're going to use January to March, right? Yeah, quarterly. You can use the three months uh, data from this and you can add it and do the summarization, for example. Let me erase this all. And for example, here, the monthly total will be sum of, we can go to here, and for monthly from January to March, right? You can enter. So you don't have to repeat for all, you just can drag this and it will 
bring the total the quarterly report for average two you can have like i think average yeah average of you will just give it the value you want to be computed from here to here yes this is the average and they will bring you the average for all the expense grades that we have so you can uh, you can visualize this using different tools for example let me erase this one and for example to show the share of the expense for each uh, these sections we can just simply insert uh, a chart for pie chart for example we can insert some chart line to line you see if you insert this chart so for example okay let me insert the think this will do and charts you can play around with the <clears throat> the colors and the labels here by using this customization your chart style pie charts you can pick any color for any slice from here for example you can select anything from here uh, and you can represent on the chart so you can represent your reports like this uh, anything for example I'm not, i don't do it but uh, for a quarterly you can insert some kind of bar chart or line charts if it's feasible but uh, for this yeah you can see <clears throat> for quarterly the expense the total expense for an advertisement cleaning electricity staffing uh, you can you can represent you can use any visualization tool to represent your summarization but this is how you summarize different uh, parts you can do you can explore more on this is it clear or do you have any question on this you can raise it now if you have any question on this how uh, if it's not a blessing is it clear now uh, at least have you get any insights yes it is, uh, yes, it is. um uh, how many summaries are we creating three for each year uh, uh i don't know the tasks uh the first task i think three calculation error that as you said uh, earlier uh, you are going to find these errors and auto you are going to there are different scenarios you go through this all it says year. we should create um adding up the three years yeah, yes yes you have we have three years data so you can go through each cell as i just show you you can go to each table and bring any data so it's easy but i have shared the, this link i think yeah there are a lot of functions a lot of functions here with the description and syntax also how you can use them this is prepared by google so you can see come here and pick any appropriate uh, there are i think filters for mathematical ones you can use this for your purpose you can go through through this all based out uh, you can continue based out uh, or anyone anyone with a question who is unable to uh, 
uh, speak up, you can write it on the chat box. Bezoit or Tarrafa, you can speak up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, maybe I'm not sure the time which this tutorial has uh, started uh, in my page or on the weekly uh, schedule. It's on 4.30, but as I see here, you are almost going to finish the tutorial. Like, I don't know, mm -hmm. maybe if it is the case, can you maybe just wrap up the, the highlights so that you can catch up on it? Because I just, uh, I, I joined right now, or around okay. five or six minutes ago. Thank you. I, I'm not sure if there is any inconvenience uh, during uh, about the schedule, but what we are seeing here is, uh, um, what we are seeing here is <clears throat> how to how you can create some summarization from your data sets for it might be called for quarterly or monthly using formulas and different charts uh, different formulas and visually prepare those uh, visually present the, those findings in appealing way so uh, what uh, we actually we do we don't on the presentation we don't go too much into into, the, into into details. There are tools like functions for addition um, uh, and subtraction and doing average and, and uh, other tools. Uh, I, uh, I provided a link on, with, on the slide for these functions. There are a lot of functions. You can go through them and use them according to your needs. Uh, but we can use for example, the sum that we use earlier is here, and uh, there there are a lot of functions, but you can go through them and pick the one that fits for your case. But basically, what we were doing is uh, trying to summarize some uh, thing from the data. Based out, if you have question, you can raise it while um. Okay. Okay, thank you. So the problem I'm facing right now is how did you drag the files, you know? You were from the summarization and you took it to the sheet one. So how did you do that? Okay, okay. Uh, let me go to uh, Tarafa. You can see what I have done here too. Okay, I, just, uh, I don't know where do you <clears throat> join us, but for example, I tried to uh, create a total expense summary from the data we have for 2025. What I have done is, for example, let me erase this all. And here, what I have done was, I use a simple Google Sheet formula sum. When the value, when uh, when this, uh, as you are, if you are seeing, when this field appear, I will just go to the other sheet. This formula came with me. Uh, to the other sheet, so the, I think we are uh, adding the expense. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. So if it's a, an expense, these are the monthly total expense, right? These are the addition of all this. So I just add. I hold shift and uh, right arrow to drag my data to up to December, and I want to add this all, right? So I just hit enter and it will bring back to this cell. Is this clear? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. So you can, uh, for the total uh, income too, you can do the same because it's the same addition of uh, income. Don't forget equals, I always do. <laughs> uh, so some when the when a field to enter a value came, you can go to that specific sheet you want to add these values from, from income, from the total income from January to December. And add, for this one, I just subtract the total income and the expense to get the uh, profits, so equals to minus, uh, this, since I do it earlier, it's, it's suggesting that you, you, okay, let me, this first equals minus, 
the difference of I think income minus comma and expense. So enter. This is the profit loss for that specific year. I do the same for this. If I have to repeat what I have done for January is equal to. Um, I want to bring the profit, the monthly profit. So uh, for monthly profit, what I have, what I should do is, uh, <clears throat> I should subtra subtract the monthly uh, income from monthly expense and do the same for each month, right? So I will go to this here, just equals sum of, for example, when this uh, field for a value came, you can go to the other cell and pick, this is the month for the January, this is the income, comma, and the, this is the January's expense. So you can enter it. Uh, I, I think I'm mistaken. Oh, uh, I use some, <laughs> that's why I should use, uh, it's profit is minus, right? So I can go to 2005 and subtract the income and... Uh, uh, Elias, if yes. you, want, you want, you can go faster. You can use the summary. We have done already the summary and the profit already calculated. Mm -hmm. in the can you speak this? Yeah, I'm saying that the profit is already calculated in the sheet one. So if you want, you can take it directly. Yes, Go yes. Sheet, like, uh, okay. yes. Uh, here, the, uh, it's already calculated. I think here, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Calculated. Yes, I'm sure, I'm, I'm trying just to show them how they... Ah, okay, 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 all right. Yes. So we can drag this one to here. And it will do the same. It will use the same logic that we put for January to calculate this all. And we can visualize this by inserting some bar chart to make visual uh, presentation for chart. For example, you can present like this one, or we can use a line chart uh, like this one. We can we can do uh, we can play around with these fields to enter the chart title and change colors. You can go through this all. Uh, the other thing that I did was here the total. I tried to make a quarterly report for uh, for these expense uh, sections for rent, staffing, electricity, cleaning, and advertisement. So let me do the average one again. I'm going to use a simple formula, average. It's uh, so for rent of the first three months, the average is going to be the average of these three. So this one is um, the average. So you can drag, drag it and I will happy, happy, this will be uh, your uh, average. So we can represent this one with, for example, pie charts that I use. Pie charts for rent, advertisement, cleaning, electricity, staffing, and stuff like that. We can represent our uh, quarterly summarization finding in appealing where by using different tools, you can you can uh, explore more on this, but this is pretty much what we see in this session. Is there is any other question, we can raise it now. Uh, Tony, <laughs> should I repeat it again or do you get, do you get it now? Okay, any other questions? Yeah, maybe can you share this video as soon as possible? Because no, this, it. this video yeah. will be shared as soon as possible. It's, uh, it's, it's being recorded, so it will be again posted 
on the channel as soon as possible. Okay, go on, Bezart. Are we going to prepare for the whole year? You, I mean, for the 2015 or the three years, uh, summer, the summary part? Yes, I think the, ta the task is like, well, Rudolf, uh, can you help on this one? I'm need for this challenge. Are they yeah, going to okay. prepare for uh, please all can you... three years? Yeah, uh, putting the challenge project, okay. yeah. Create a summary sheet adding this. You are going to add three years, uh, add up the three years and uh, bring up with a graph for the profits by means and net. You're going to prepare, uh, uh, add up for all the three years and prepare a profit per, by means and net, net gain or loss for that a specific period and put the net gain or loss on second uh, OY axis. Uh, actually, the instruction is clear. You can follow there. Maybe can I ask one more question? Uh, if, okay. I'm, if I am correct, I don't know. Here in the summary section, there are four requirements. The income, the expense, profit, and net gain or loss. When we calculate yes. the income, I think we need to summarize. I mean, uh, we take the total of the total income from January up to December, which is the horizontal uh, uh, the horizontal sales. We can use this sum sum of all demands for income, and also the same for expense. We will see the exp the total expense of all the demands. We will add all this. And then the profit will be the income, the difference between the income and the expense, right? Yeah. So, yeah, income minus expense will be the profit. And what about this net gain or loss? Is it the, uh, the, the another calculation or is it almost the same with the profit? Maybe the difference is the negative or the positive side. Yes, net gain or loss is the uh, what you can extract from the pro, pro the profit calculation. Uh, if you can add uh, something on this, Rudolf. Yeah, the calculation is different. And uh, when you go to the sheet, you can realize that uh, uh, up the, the, uh, for the first month of January, the profit and the gain or loss are to the... Is the same. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can show. You can show your screen so that uh, you can see that together. Uh, shall I share one? Yeah, you can too or already do. So this one. Okay, good. So when you for the first, okay, when you click oh. on the on the cell, you can realize that uh, the profit, the net, the net gain or loss is equal to the profit. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. for the second month, when you click on the 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 cell, you can no no the just side yeah click on that one. This one yeah click no no the second one the second one yeah yeah okay. when no, you okay. click on that you can realize that uh, it is uh, the the previous net gain or loss plus the uh, the profit of the current month yeah. Yeah. If I go so, here, uh, it exactly, be... it will be the the previous mm -hmm. net gain loss plus uh, the yeah. previous uh, the current uh, profit, and so this is the formula for so add this one that... with this one, this one with this one. This is the pre profit uh, gain, and this is the current profit. So I will add this one and this one. I think exactly, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> this is the formula. Yeah. The, yeah. and wanna... if you if you want to 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 see how it, it goes for the the second sheet you you will see that the 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 final the final uh, net gain loss uh, will the be the big... one? yeah this one yeah click on this one you will see that uh, we have uh, at the beginning um we ha you, okay click on that one mm. Yeah, click on this. No. Yeah. So 
you will see that it is the uh, the net the previous net gain in December 2025 plus yeah. the profit of uh, yeah this one you see mm -hmm. do you understand what I'm saying yes I do okay good so this is the way it is calculated yes, uh, the, are you guessing what he's saying yeah yeah now it's better okay i think a blessing has uh, raised her hand ah blessing you can continue thank you um both. i'm thank i'm you. still stuck on on adding up the three years am i finding the net profit for january 2025 2026 2027 and doing the same for all the months? Am I adding the net profit for for each year? Because it says add up for the three years, or am I doing it for each year separately, summarizing each year? Rudolf, can you go on this one too? Me to go in the, in the challenge? I uh, think like you, are, you are asking about the task one, right? Yes, add up the three years. Three years. So yeah. if I get yeah. the net yeah. profit yeah. for January add. 2025, 2026, 2027. Yeah, and then what, what I, I suggest you to do, okay, uh, you, you, you summarize for each year, okay? Okay. Then when mm -hmm. you summarize for each year, then you can you can now yeah. display create your graph it will make more sense for you mm -hmm. okay rather okay. than yeah. put everything together mm -hmm. and say that for okay i don't know if you get the point because I when you put everything to everything together you will, we can see what the profit what the the uh the loss or the income the total is doing uh over year over mm -hmm. time you see yeah so it's better to do that for each year okay hello guys is there any other question can you hear me guys yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but don't forget to share with us right now. Thank you. The, what do you want me to share? The I slide? mean the video. Yeah, the, the video. video the will it's getting recorded, so it will be uploaded to the channel as soon as possible, and we will share with a link in the Slack whenever it's uploaded on the group. So Bernard, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you. I think that um, we we work on it to get the, the, the details of how the work is because it needs some bit of patience. But I want to know how do you spot discrepancies in the figures on the sheet and um, how do you work around it uh, quickly? Uh, can you repeat the question? I didn't hear you correctly. But if you have a, a, a data like you have a, a sheet like that, how do you spot uh, discrepancies? I mean, like uh, variations or differences in the figures on the sheet, and how do you work manipulate it, work around it? Yeah, and probably when you are done, uh, if you just do a recap of the whole processes and getting those summaries and then uh, the things the details will be appreciated as well. Okay, to do the summaries, uh, I use. Uh, do you want me what, uh, to to repeat what I have done? I yeah, think, I mean, uh, like to uh, 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 yes, yeah, yes, uh, yes, yes. but I want to know how you can spot the the also differences in numbers or uh, data yeah. if there are differences. You uh, should come up with some way, but I suggested for blessing. I suggested uh, a way. 
uh, if you observe me earlier when I do the summarization, I do it automatically. So if you can do it automatically, and I, I will just write a formula for one set and drag the whole thing until the end that I need that uh, calculation. So if you do that, this is just my suggestion, but you can do it with your own uh, way and compare the sales, you can easily find which one is the wrong one. That's my advice, but you can come up with different approach. So, for example, if it's a total, um, if it's a sum, you can write uh, below it, you can write the sum for and select that sales and drag it to, for example, if it's monthly up to this December and compare the one that we give and the one that you just compute and you you can easily come up with uh, uh, a comparison and detect uh, which one is the wrong one but you can use any other effi efficient method that you can that that you think will be right for this uh, the video will be uploaded as soon as possible so you can get uh, what I've done uh, on that video but i didn't do much the, on summarization i just put some formula to find the total for example here i use some function to find the total of uh, the expenses here so uh, you can get uh, you can easily get this uh, from the video while uploading uh, while, uh, after it's being uploaded you can continue when i'm sorry I, uh, you can continue okay um hello thank you for your presentation okay. um it has been clear but just to see clarity just like the other person asked so on the um template data you know we have a lot of data and each of the cells there so I think what most of us is trying to understand is to you know sort out the data that is just not I mean the formula that is not correct that is the discrepancies in the data set. Are we checking out for the things that have been filled for the rent, the staffing, electricity, cleaning, or we're we just checking out discrepancies in the total um total expenses and the summary side? I think that's what we are a little bit confused about. If I'm correct with every other person. Thank you. Hello, Elias. Are you speaking? You are muted. Hello. Can you hear me? No, we can't. Talk okay, okay. You are muted. Okay, okay. Uh, you are asking about the data that uh, that are put on the sheets, uh, and they are not that are not correct. Calculation errors to find the calculation right errors, right? Yes, the calculations that are not correct. Uh, in the challenge document, what it's saying is. There are at least three calculation errors in the sheets. Uh, so the reason I, th I think that uh, we put this here is the errors are individual. <clears throat> For example, you, if you go through the, uh, the those cells, you can see you can easily see the unreasonable change. For example, it's suggested, and you can see a reasonable. So the reason we put this here is for you to go through how how these sales are all calculated and put there, to, just so that you know the, how these sales are computed. So you can go, you can easily see, and if, for example, if you see unreasonable change on that cell, you can detect, you can click it and see the formula that's being used, or is it? Uh, manually put it, uh, number, you can see that. You can look for a re unreasonable uh, 
an unreasonable change. But what I have suggested earlier, my way is to just do it on the next column and do it, do the same formula for that uh, for that specific tail and drag it to the up to the place that you want to compute. Then compare it. That's the easy way, at least uh, I, I guess. But you can use any other efficient way. You can continue at at this time. Uh, yes, thank, thank you for the presentation. Uh, I I wanted to say that I did not see this slide. I don't know, maybe it was generally, or I'm the one that's not seen from my side. And secondly, the calculations. Uh, I don't know, maybe the last part, I, I actually came late. And uh, I, I would love if you can help me uh, do a, a kind of recap. Thank, thank, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. I will. I will do one calculation. I will show you that. Uh, blessing. Okay. Um, I was just going to add that I I spent all day yesterday going cell by cell looking for the unreasonable changes, but it all looked quite the same. The differences from cell to cell were consistent. So I think maybe it's simply because we are not that familiar with working with the formulas. So we are unable to see what should be very apparent to us. So, yeah. Uh, I think okay. what the thing is also saying, I did the same. Actually, we calculated the differences from each cell. And we realized that there's no huge differences. So I'm kind of a little bit, oh God. Okay, okay. Let me do one thing here. For example, uh, I want to know this one, right? Uh, can you see it? Yes. Yes, yes. So, for example, if I want to know this one, I will just copy. It's my way. You can do it and paste this here and I can drag it up to this, and I, I can easily compare these terms, for example. For the calculations, this is just my way, but you can try different ways and compare these terms and easily find the incorrect ones, uh, but different, there are different calculations, so bear in mind uh, to lo look into, for example, you can do this uh, table and compare this one. For example, isn't it easy to compare this and this, this and this, this and this? Uh, this is a, because you do it this automatically, it's, this is the correct one. Because in every cell, I will use the same logic as this one. But if there is anything that's not uh, using this formula, you can detect it like this. You can, my way, you can do like this for some of the formulas put here, uh, or you can come up with any other good way and suggest it here. Uh, for the formula, for example, let me compute the average here. What I've done is, since I've done too much submission, what I've done is just this is a quarter, for quarterly report, for example, we have we are going to add from January to uh, January, February, and March three months. For example, this is for expense one. So a quarterly response, uh, report for the expense, you can uh, use average and for the value, when the value comes, you can go to specific field that you can compute, for example, uh, the average of, uh, I think what I'm doing is uh, uh, the expense are this, right? The this let me let me erase it here. <coughs> Uh, for example, if you have, if you are going to uh, use the, uh, the average here, 
uh, the range of the three months, right? So for uh, expense, we are going to, for rent, we are going to go from uh, January to March and compute this. And we can easily drag like this. You, we get the average expenditure or uh, expended amounts for each sections of the expense. And we can easily do this for the total two. We can do the same, but with just addition. You can do the sum, and you can go to uh, the three months, January, February, and so you can drag here. You can easily, for, for example, if you want to know the quarterly total, you can sum. Uh, I will suggest to from C6 to C32, uh, uh, oh, this will be the quarterly uh, total. And this, for example, if you are, this is the quarterly average. You can go, I, 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 present, I gave you a link for different formulas here. You can go through them and use anything that you think will be appropriate, appropriate here. And these are simple formulas that I use in, in this demonstration. Is this clear now, Adisam? Elias, you are reading, so we can hear you if you are checking. Hello, Elias. If you are talking, you are speaking, we can't hear you because you are muted. Okay, 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 sorry. If there is no question, guys, we can wrap, wrap up this session. Uh, and we will send you a link for the uploaded video and I will share the slide on the drive too. And we will share you on Slack those links and ready we can wrap it up. We can stop to record. Thank you guys for being interactive.